364 days later, we go to last night. Catholic Central getting its shot at redemption. Country Day coming into last night's championship game unbeaten and having won nine of the previous 14 state titles. But CC not intimidated by, oh, by that at all. Second quarter, Annalise Pickrell finishing it off. CC up by six points. Then Brittany Berry inside to Tasha Stokes into the paint. Two of her 14 points. Third quarter, Berry then with the no-look pass to Pickrell who gets behind the defense. An eight-point lead at that point. But no fourth quarter let down, not on this night. Pickrell going to go to Shellis Hampton, who's going to go in for the lay and the lead at four. And then Catholic Central ending the game on a 6 nothing run, all at the free throw line, 51-43. Grand Rapids Catholic Central, oh, a little sweet redemption from last year. After losing the title game last year, the Cougars come back and win that state championship, 51-43 over Detroit Country Day. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I don't know. I, I, I still think that like we still have practice and everything, you know, in another game, and we got to prepare. It's so surreal. I mean, we just beat Detroit Country Day. I, I, it's just mind-boggling. I'm blown away right now. I don't even know what to say. So now, 24 hours after the fact, Coach Kali Lamro Tate, Annalise Pickerel, ladies, thank you for joining us. Do you know what to say now that you've had a little time to kind of soak this all in? Oh. <laughs> I don't, you know, I was driving over here thinking about it and then getting Anna and picking her up. So I, um, you know what keeps popping in my head is I don't get to be with the girls anymore. So So now, now you're kind of feeling that bitter sweet part yeah. of this. You've got the championship, but now it, yeah. it, it's over. Yeah, I want to, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go back. No, no practice yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Brittany Berry holding that ball in the final seconds, and, and we, we can kind of see you off to the side and, you know, count three, two, one. You kind of had your hands on your head almost as, as saying, like, it, it, is this really happening? I mean, you guys have been working for this for so long. What was going through your head then? Well, someone told me I did that. I actually didn't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't remember that. Um, so I guess I started walking on the court three seconds to go, left on the clock, and so... Uh, I don't remember it. Someone told me I did it. So okay, four teams win state championships this weekend. Yesterday down at the Breslin, and you know the boys are going to crown their state champions uh, next weekend. And we don't know the storylines that are going to go into that. But for you guys, especially with what happened last year, you're undefeated last year. You go into that championship game against this perennial state power, and have that fourth. You're right there on the verge of winning, and then kind of have this little fourth quarter breakdown. They win the championship, and you're like, oh my god. You have to go through a whole calendar year to get back to this point. And it's almost like you guys were on this collision course to meet with Country Day again. Exactly a year later, one one day less th than exactly a year, and you get that shot. What was going through your mind in that fourth quarter? Did last year flash back at, at all? Like, okay, this is the point last year where, where we let things slip away. We cannot let that happen this time. Yeah, um, during our timeouts, that's all I could think about was like, you know, we were here last year. She was, we were, she wasn't saying the same things, but you know, we we had that. It was a different feeling because we were all so composed and like Colleen, her like, the way she was like. Um, Telling our game plan to us, it was so calm and like it just it reassured us that you know if we stay composed and we we do what we know we need to do, you know we'll be all right. Now, if last year had not happened, had you not gone to the state finals and lost them, could last night have happened the way that it did? Because had you not gotten that experience of playing this you know wonderful team that we've got across the state and losing the way that you guys did, would you have been able, you think, to have had that composure in that situation? There you go. I mean, you just learn with experience. So I uh, if it was. But even better, I think um, we could have met anybody in the state tournament in the finals. Mm -hmm. You know, usually probably would have ended up with Detroit Country Day, but we, it's just sweet that we got a final game with them, and we wouldn't want it any other way. So it was great. So you, you lose the state championship game last year. The season begins this year with a loss to Rockford, a team that went on to have a great season. I mm -hmm. saw them play East Lansing the other yeah. day. They probably should have won that game to go to the yeah. Breslin. You guys lose to Rockford on opening night. What would she say to you guys after that game? <laughs> Oh we don't talk after yeah, the game. Yeah, we mm. know. No. She knows the... Yeah. And they, I need time. Yeah. Okay. We just go our own way, and then we talk. Gives me 24 hours. Gives them 24 hours. They're usually texting, though, me okay. right away. Sorry, and then, no, so... We usually hear about it in film the next day. Okay. <laughs> so what was your message to them? Because here you're coming off this, this, this heartbreaking state championship loss from a year ago. You come out opening night, and, and you're losing your 0-1. Well, I think what happened was is when we lost at the state finals, we still felt that we were a really good team. We shouldn't have lost, things like that. Then we went through the summer. We did really, really well. We went to Ohio, won most of our games there. I mean, we, wherever we went during the summer, we just really took people. Um, 
so I think when we opened up with Rockford, we just thought we needed to show up. I, you know, I firmly believe um, it was the best loss because I got to look at them all season and say, what, you don't think you can lose this yeah. game? And they literally just, it was a gut check every single game. So it was actually easier for me to coach them the rest of the year. Frank Orlando, the guy at Country Days, won nine of those championships in the last 14 years. You lost to him a few years ago when you were at East. You lost to him last year. You finally win. What, what did he say to you at the end? He came up and gave you a nice hug. What did yeah. he say to you? Yeah, we've never had a really um, hostile um, coaching against each other relationship at all. Um, he was really gracious. He says, "Good job, okay. good job." So. And you're off to Michigan State next year. I mean, you, you got to let this one sink in. I know you went up against Madison Williams, their six foot seven center, the last couple of seasons, and now you guys are both going to be Spartans next year. I know you want to enjoy this championship for a little bit, but <laughs> you're, you've got a career still ahead of you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really looking forward to Michigan State, and it's kind of bittersweet for me too because all my best friends and my closest, like, like they feel like my family because I've been with them for seven years, you know, um, in basketball. So having to start fresh is gonna be hard, but like at the same time, uh, the last seven years have been really sweet with all of them. So. Congrats, Colleen Lamarotte, Annalise Pickrell, ladies. Thank you. Congrats on your on your state championship. Enjoy it. Thank, thank you. you.